Hello everyone and welcome to this bonus episode of the Dark Table from A to Z series. My name is Hal and today we're going to have a look at the new features in version 3.6. For most of the new features, this is going to just be an introduction. There will be full-fledged episodes in the series about the big ones. We'll go through them one by one here. The first one is in Light Table. There is a new import and instead of the old one with the three buttons you have two buttons here add to library this one will add them in place so if you've copied your images already to your disk add to library will just import and leave everything where they are and copy and import what it says on the box it would allow you to copy from another location to where your library is and import them into the library and you've got a set of parameters that you could change. Let me know if this is worth a separate video. A vector scope has been added to complement the current histogram, waveform and parade views. Waveform and then there you go a new vector scope. This one will definitely be a separate video. A new default the mosaic method RCD which according to the fine manual should provide better quality than the current one the current default one PPG but it's still faster than a maze a maze the one that we were supposed to use for filmic RGB it's good to see what they say now in the filmic RGB documentation is this good enough or do we still need to use a maze and on top of that we have now dual de mosaic so we've seen them here RCD plus VNG4 a maze plus VNG4 next now we can create an opacity mask based on the sharpness of the image okay so it's this one adjust the threshold for the details mask positive values select areas with strong details negative values select flat areas just a quick huh. well Again, I'm not sure if this is worth a video all by itself. I might combine a few of the easier ones into a single video to go a little bit in details in them. The next one as well is for the masks, but I have to admit I did not notice it and I did not know that it happened before. Drawn shapes are drawn on the original raw image and then distorted through the pixel pipe. So the masks that we draw, if you change the image afterwards, the mask that you drew is distorted with it. So if you create a mask over this and then you go to a module and change the perspective, say, the mask that you drew on this will be distorted with it. This previously led to circles becoming el ellipses due to lens distortion, for example after being placed on the image. Now all the drawn shapes can be pre-visualized and moved prior to placement with full deformation applied. This makes the editing of mask easier and fully WYSIWYG. Okay, sounds good, but like I said I didn't notice it before. That's probably because I don't use a lot of modules that distort the image. Let me know if you have noticed it and if that's something we should look into it in depth next there is a new color balance rgb module hurrah just mastered the previous one there is a completely new one look we're not going to be bored this is going to be not just one video but probably a few and i would like to go into this one as soon as possible it seems to be quite powerful the previous one looked 
as well a little bit scary and confusing but at the end it was not I'm sure this one is probably more difficult but we'll see the new the documentation says it's a new color balance RGB module has been added this can be used as a one-stop module for all color grading work excellent can't wait and another module has been added as well it's called sensorize let's read from the documentation it says a new sensorize module has been added this allows you to hide parts of the image by adding a blur pixelization this has been added to add those blurs that are required by social media for some photos I uh, posted jokingly on one of the developers uh, Instagram I said uh, oh this is going to make for a very nice video tutorial jokingly and he replied saying no it's self-explanatory no video tutorial is needed there goes my whole series <laughs> well, and my sense of humor <laughs> a third module which is a new crop module notice that the crop and rotate is still here well, let's see what the documentation says a new crop module has been added this new module has been added late in the pixel pipe and makes it possible to use cropped part of the image for source spots in the retouch module for example that's nice so it does exactly the same the only reason it's there is that it added late in the pixel pipe so the, the the pieces that you cropped from the image are still available for you to use like we said in retouching if you want to use them to retouch other parts of the image I'm not sure why this whole one wasn't moved to the end of the pixel pipe maybe there is a need to have both of them if you don't need to use the uh, cropped part of the image then there's no real reason to use this one it's exactly the same at least exactly the same the part that's just cropped this one has rotate as well a new section has been added to the color calibration module to allow you to calibrate colors using a color checker chart okay where is that ah here yeah. okay well another one that's going to require a separate video I think the color calibration module is a big part of my workflow so that's going to be one of the next videos I guess there were a couple of uh, enhancements to the map module which for some reason I don't even have hmm. Or maybe because I don't have any no I should be able to see it even if I didn't have any location data okay interesting something to check so the map module has been enhanced in a number of ways when importing a GPX the trace can be displayed location can be set using polygons and directly created from information reported by OpenStreetMap interesting a quick search didn't come up with any solutions either I've hit a singular problem or the problem exists between the chair and the keyboard which is as well possible now the question is why didn't you check this before doing a video about it well I did check all the others I did not think I would have a problem with the map module there you go well moving swiftly along there is in dark room a new quick access panel which you can use for the basic adjustments if you don't want to go through the modules one at a time again it's probably not worth a whole video by itself but we'll discuss it with some other minor adjustments or minor changes in a single video a really nice change is that we now have the export module as well in the darkroom view which lets you change 
the settings of your export you could always export from darkroom with Control e but at least now you can change the settings without having to go back to light table and in light table there is this new addition which lets you change the views with an easy icons on the bottom and in this view you can use escape to go back out another nice change is in contrast equalizer if you remember here the mix used to disappear if you go out from dark uh, room or even when you go out of the uh, module I can't remember I think it was when you leave darkroom anyway it used to be that if you made changes and then changed the mix the mix is applied to your changes at a certain point now it doesn't it stays like this so if you've made changes and set it to 0 0.5 it will stay here as 0 0.5 okay there are as well the f f a few minor features that I'll go through them following modules have been deprecated there's no more basic adjustment modules because it's been replaced by the quick pan access panel that we just saw the vibrance module is disappeared as well now we have to use the vibrance control and the new color balance RGB module a spot removal module has been replaced by the retouch module and the defringe module has been replaced by a new chromatic aberrations module the old module has now been renamed to raw chromatic aberrations scene referred workflow is now the default you can still change it but it's now the default and the escape key can be used to exit the slideshow view you can now control click on the module groups preset button to actually access the manage dialog directly okay handy the rest are all under the hood improvements and there is a new user manual uh, the link is going to be in the description as usual and I'm gonna take this opportunity to thank everyone who's involved in this project it's a great software I use it all the time and I would like to encourage you all to go help out in any way you can if you can that's it for this video I hope that you found it interesting. If you have any questions, requests or corrections, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.